All right, so something weird happened to the eBay dirt bike. So the controller went last week and I know the controller is mounted in this metal housing with the battery and it gets no airflow and it's always super hot when I check it right after the full discharge. Uh, so I just figured that the controller blew when we had a problem with it last week. So I threw a new eBay controller in there real quick, this one, and it worked for another week. And then it just went out again. So I was like, huh, that doesn't make much sense. So I dug into the old controller and I opened it up and I noticed that not one MOSFET is blown on the entire rail. So I'm like, what is going on here? Something's not right. So I opened the controller box up again. I uh, took the phase wires off of the second controller and I noticed that my hub motor spun freely again, but it was like locked up for a second and then it started spinning free. And I was like, something's not right with that. All right, so I took the whole entire thing out and I just like took it right down to wiring. And then I started spinning the motor and the motor spun freely, but then I wiggled the wires and then they started binding up. So I found the issue. There's a short circuit where the phase wires go into the metal housing. So we have a bad connection inside the wiring to the hub motor. So what I'm hoping I can do is I can fix this problem and then put the old controller back in so we can get the SW900 display back working and everything will be good in the bike. So let's get it going and see if we can fix this thing. And there it is right there. I pull the phase wires out and you can see that they've been slightly crushed by the battery pack. And there's actually a tiny bit of melted styrofoam on the cable from getting warm. I cut open the cable with a razor knife and it doesn't take a really sharp eye to spot it. The green melted into the yellow. It was right on top of it. And you can see the burn mark. I spread it apart and there's our short. All right, I've repaired the cable. I put some 3M 600 degree tape around it and insulated all three phases. Now I'm gonna put a piece of heat shrink over that, shrink it down. I'm gonna drill a new hole inside this enclosure to get the battery wiring in here. If you notice that uh, the hole is on the bottom of the enclosure, so it has to get pinched by the battery to come up around here. So I'm gonna make a new hole up in this top portion and uh, put a rubber grommet in it and route it through that way. I think it'll be a little safer. And All right, so I'm just gonna grab my drill here and drill a hole in the enclosure. Oh my God, that is not the right drill bit. There we go, that's a little better. I'm just gonna grab my drill here and drill a hole in the enclosure and then put the rubber grommet in that you see right over here on the floor. All right, I got the new hole through the frame with the grommet in place. I had to pull the battery out real quick just so I didn't uh, drill into it with my unibit. Now let's get this thing back together. All right, there you have it. So basically now our problem area of our phase wiring is now inside the housing instead of outside the housing, which is what we were aiming for. Now we can get the controller back wired inside and see if everything fires up. All right, 20 minutes of wiring things in and let's see what happens. I had to bypass her key switch cause she's at a friend's house and I don't have the key. So I bypassed it real quick and I got everything plugged in. The positive lead did a big spark. Now let's hold down this M button and see what happens. Boom. Look at that, it turns on, battery says full. I still have nothing soldered, it's all just loose. Let's try to get the wheel off the ground and spin it. Success. Oh my God, the old controller still works. So it was just a shorted phase and that was the only problem. Now I can get this all soldered back together and bolted back in and then we can probably address this rear brake situation. All right, we got the bike back together. Everything's working. I'm gonna bolt it back in, put a little uh, supports on the controller, make sure uh, it's in a good airflow spot and uh, close it up.